Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to reduce the size of Excel files. When the data is added and its complexity increases, the size of the Excel file also increases. Excel files range from a few kilobytes to a few megabytes. The huge amount of data associated with an Excel file tends to make it slow and hazy. Also, a vast number of files with greater sizes make it very difficult to share. In such cases, you'll need to reduce the size of an Excel file. Let us now see how to reduce the Excel file size. Let us get right into it. One way to reduce the Excel file size is by saving the Excel file as a binary spreadsheet. To save the current file in binary format, Navigate to File. Click on Save As. Enter the file name and location. Finally, select the Excel Binary Workbook option from the Save As pane and click on Save. This saves the Excel file as a binary workbook. Compressing images in Excel Worksheet is another way to reduce the Excel file size. To compress an image, first select the image and navigate to the Picture Format Main Menu ribbon. Under the Adjust section, click on Compress Pictures. This opens the Compress Pictures dialog box. You can select the resolution you want from the list of resolutions. The higher the resolution, the greater the size will be. Choose the resolution that suits your purpose. Or you can also select the Use Default Resolution. And click OK. The resolution and editing factors play a major role in determining the size of the Excel file. So, by reducing or eliminating those factors, we can reduce the Excel file size. To reduce the image resolution and the file size, navigate to File and click on Options. From the Excel Options dialog box, click on Advanced. Scroll down to the Image Size and Quality section. From the drop-down, select the workbook you want to implement the changes. Check the checkbox for discard editing data. Uncheck the checkbox for do not compress images in the file. Change the default resolution. When you select high fidelity, the images will have the highest resolution, but they will significantly increase the file size. If your spreadsheet has pivot tables, then any changes you make to the pivot table get stored in the pivot table cache. You can also reduce the file size by removing the pivot table cache. To remove the pivot table cache, first, click on any cell in the pivot table. Then, navigate to the pivot table analyze main menu ribbon. Under the pivot table section, click on options. Click on the data tab in the pivot table options dialog box. Under the pivot table data section, Uncheck the checkbox for Save Source Data with File. Check the checkbox for Refresh Data when opening the file. Externally compressing a file also helps bring down the file size. To compress a file, right-click on the file and select Compress to Zip File. This instantly compresses the current file. You can then share a large number of files easily and the end user can extract and get back to the original file. Watch is an efficient feature in Excel that lets you expect calculations, formulas, and data. However, enabling it takes up considerable space and makes the file size a bit large. To remove the watches, navigate to the Formula Main Menu ribbon and click on the Watch Window. This opens the Watch Window dialog box. In the dialog box, select the watches you want to delete and click on Delete Watch. Additionally, you can also reduce the file size by removing any unnecessary data like images, worksheets, formatting, formulas, and hyperlinks. That is all everyone. In this video, we saw how to reduce the Excel file size. Excel files with lesser file sizes facilitate easy sharing and transfer of the files. In addition, they also load faster and are easier to download. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, 
click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.